I'm optimistic, positive, and excited about chiropractic, reaching people with my practice, and building an exceptional life of productivity, prosperity, and generosity while being filled with love, fitness, and fun. I saw a little clip the other day from a gentleman, and I never thought of it this way, even though it's obviously true for everybody on a subconscious level. Most people aren't aware of what they're actually thinking. They, they think they are. They think they're in touch with what their mind is doing, but really they're not. There's what you see and there's what's actually happening inside the subconscious mind and how everything's being processed that's going in through the senses. But he said, when I see a person in really good physical condition, I know a few things. I know they've got discipline. I know that they're organized. I know that they're able to delay gratification. I know they have pride in themselves. I know they have a respect for the human body, which gives them a chance to respect other people's human bodies. They're able to manage their time. What does it say? If you see someone who's really in physical condition, fitness-wise, it doesn't mean the shape of their body. There's people that, that have a goofy-shaped body, but they're physically conditioned. And there's people that look pretty good, and they are not physically conditioned at all. But it was a very interesting observation that what you see speaks so loud, people don't hear what you say. What does it say in the world of chiropractic? If you've got a chiropractor... Okay, that's not emphasizing their own personal health and fitness. That's a pretty hard sell to the public that's looking for health and fitness from their chiropractor. So we're always after fitness. Our purpose is to become smarter, more powerful, capable, driven, and superior versions of ourselves by ever increasing our awareness, our knowledge, our understanding, our motivation, our hands-on skill, of course, our communication skill and mastering the art of exceptional living, not just being alive. We're meant to live, not just be alive, says the great legend, Evil Knievel. And of course, when you train with me, Tori, the chiropractor, the chiropractic practice success consultant, you're naturally going to get more good new patients from great sources. You're going to become a more capable motivator and a persuader of people toward the high road in life. And, of course, you'll be empowered to make smarter, long-term decisions. That's the name of the game. And, of course, we want you to be energized physically, mentally, and financially. Millionaire DC Secrets number 10. Believe that? Quick little series here. There's so many other topics I can't wait to get to. People say, Tori. Well, they, in, fact, in fact, I would say this. Nobody asks me to have any guests because I've got so much material that there's no need for any guests. All right? But we will get to having some guests sooner or later. All right. But we've got some work to get done here first. Now, from our book here, I've got number 10 marked here. I've got some bullets I want to share with you. And, of course, these are unbelievable. Some of the smartest writing ever. People today don't write like they did back then. Do every day all that you can do that day and do each act in an efficient manner. Do everything that you do in the firm conviction that you are an advancing personality and that you're giving advancement to everybody. Feel that you're getting rich. And that in so doing, you are making others rich and conferring benefits on all. See that you give everybody a use value that's greater than the cash value you are taking from them. Beware of the insidious temptation to seek for power over others. Guard your speech. Never speak of yourself, your affairs, or of anything else in a discouraged or discouraging way. There's so much 
so much that could be said about these six points. I'm going to just touch on a couple things quickly. Hopefully you find them as awesome as I do. Truth always is awesome. Do every day all that you can do and do every single thing in an efficient manner. And that is from sunup to sundown, how you brush your teeth, how you prepare for the day, how you drive to work, your morning routine when you arrive, every soap note that you do, every office visit, all of your footwork, all of your body fueling, all of your language, your statements, your sentences, okay, your emails, your phone calls, every single thing, if it's done successfully and efficiently, well, you have to become rich. The problem is people don't know what successful and efficient is. They think that their way is successful and efficient, but their stats don't show it. So the goal every day for a chiropractor is, is to execute a perfectly efficient day. Everything you did with money was, was, was done well. All notes, all patient interactions, all new ones, all reports, all care plans, all resigns, all wellness, all difficult situations, all team interactions, everything done in a perfectly efficient way. That's what we're here to train chiropractors to do. Do everything you do realizing that you're expanding and growing. Everything you're doing is causing this expansive growth in your personality. Feel that you're becoming more wealthy. Feel that you're becoming more rich in personality. Rich okay, with wisdom. Rich with knowledge. Rich with generosity. Rich means a lot of things. Small people think rich only means money. Big people realize rich relationships, rich health, rich fitness. Okay, Rich is a wonderful word. And we confer benefits on all. We have to give everybody more than what they pay. People out there in the world today are trying to take. They're trying to take more than they give. Their, their whole day is about how do they get stuff without actually having to do the work. And of course, that's ridiculous. We always have to be giving more than we're receiving. How much are you paying to, to listen to this podcast or watch this? Hmm? How much are you paying? Nothing. Hardly. But one of my ideas can make you a multimillionaire. See, I'm giving way more than what you're paying. Because I, I know how the system works. Beware the insidious temptation to seek for power over others. You see that in the world today, don't we? Everybody running around thinking everybody should bend for them. Call me what I want you to call me. Do this. Have the government change for me because I'm so awesome. <laughs> Power over others, controlling others, getting everybody to bend for you. That's just ridiculous. High successful people just understand how the world works and are just steady and cool with it. Don't have to like it, not like it. It just is. But you only have control over what you have control over. Don't try to control others, control government, control school system. Okay? You control yourself, your thoughts, your actions in a positive and a successful and efficient way, and you'll build a great life for yourself instead of trying to get everybody else to change to somehow make you happy when you're just supposed to make yourself happy. Stay inside yourself. And look at this one. Guard your speech. One of the most frustrating things I ever see, I'll get an email, Tori, uh, my practice is down. Uh, I've only collected this much this month. It's sickening. I want to throw up all over the desk. Well, what was me? And the chiropractor won't see that it's their attitude that's causing it. I've never thought anything like that. I've never tallied up where I was halfway through the month and then looked at the number and figured out a way to feel bad about it. Never speak of yourself ever in a discouraging way. Never speak of your affairs, your money, your practice, your relationships, your whatever. Boo-hoo. Nobody cares. They really don't. What they care about is what you're doing about it, about you're controlling your own mind. Never speak or of anything in a discouraged or discouraging way. Just be cool. If you let yourself fall to that low level of vibration, guess what? You attract more things that you, that you deserve for that. 
and then you'll sit there and think that somehow the world is against you and you don't realize you're doing it to yourself or I'm doing it to myself. We've all been there. So we got to be cool. We never let our mind get down low. We never get too elated. We've got to stay steady. We've got to stay cool. And we can use all of these to our advantage. Okay? So you want to do everything as efficient and successful as we can. Here's an example. Let's say, for example, I forgot to hit the record button. And I do this whole podcast. Then I go to save it and there's nothing to save. I have to redo it. That is not efficient. See the example? And there's a million examples. And of course, we want to do everything realizing we're expanding. We want to make sure we're trying to benefit everybody else around us. Okay, we want to give more than we're actually taking. Okay, we're not out to have any power over others. We want to have power over ourselves and we'll have all the success that we deserve. And of course, we never talk about ourselves. We never talk about the conditions or circumstances in a doubtful, disappointed, or discouraging way. The three Ds, the three Ds of death. Doubt, disappointment, discouraged. And some people, their whole life is because they're trying to get people to feel sorry for them. And that's sickening. Woe is me. I'm a victim. Boo hoo. Okay. You're not supposed to feel good all the time. You're not supposed to have people cater to you. The world is a very, very mean, but very fair place. So we got to make sure that we're happy with what we've got and we're thankful because believe me, if you can even be listening to this podcast, your life is, is awesome. Millionaire DC Secrets number 10. Let's move on. We're talking about retirement plans now. And I'm not an official retirement planner, but I'll tell you what chiropractors have done for decades as different options when it comes to retiring. Let's take a look at a few here. Here's an option. Millionaire DC Secrets number 10. Can't wait to for all the upcoming topics I want to do as we move through this and we'll be coming back to money because money is important. And if you don't think money is important, wait till you're 70 if you don't have any and you'll realize it actually was about the money. As a result of service, service first, results first, other people first, generosity first, brings increased return, smart systems equals you're in good shape financially. Here's a retirement strategy that's been used by many a chiropractor. Build up a bunch of tax or municipal bonds and live on the interest. Now, some of you are going to go and talk to somebody. Ah, this guy I listened to says I should get some tax or municipal bonds. And you'll end up with some dopey bond fund that's nothing like what I'm describing. None of these things, unless you know me and I go over this with you precisely, none of you will get the right thing. These are very, very specific things that are normally not popular because what's popular is higher commission. The stuff that's normally better for you is not that popular because it's not a high commission item that people are really advertising to sell. Remember, every financial thing is actually a product. So to get the correct AA rated general obligation, da 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 da, -da all the criteria of the bonds I'm describing, very few people in the country know how to do this. This is something, of course, I handle with my clients. I own a bunch of bonds. Very, very specific type of a bond. Purchased a very specific way from very specific places and positioned very specifically. Next one would be this. A person has a big life insurance policy. They put a bunch of extra money into. And then down the road, you take loans from it. You don't have to pay the loans back. They're paid back with the cash value, the sort of, quote death benefit of the insurance policy. And since you take the money out as a loan, there's no tax on it. Many, many a wealthy person have these CEOs, executives. In fact, many times this is part of their compensation package. Hey, we'll have a big, huge life insurance policy on you as long as you work here. But once again, this is a very specific type of life insurance that you don't know anybody who can set it up. Well, I've got a great life insurance uh, lady. Uh, I was talking to her. As soon as they say things like variable or universal and cash and surrender, you're lost. They sell you something that's nothing like what I'm describing. This is a very specific 90-10 
There's only a couple companies in the country that offer these and certain people know how to structure it properly. This is a not a high commission item, so no life insurance people want to sell these. They will talk you into something else where they make more money than you. And I'm talking about things here. And I, am I giving you financial advice? No, I'm telling you what I have myself, which is absolutely my in my wheelhouse to do. You go do whatever you want. I just don't like people to say, well, Tori said to buy bonds and they go buy some garbage and it doesn't do well and then they blame it on me, okay? Well, unless I set you up exactly with what to get and who to get it from, okay? You can never say, well, Tori said. The life insurance policy, one of my favorites. It's the one thing I actually think will be around down the road because I don't trust anything else that much. Next retirement possibility is a person buys a bunch of dividend stocks and then down the road, just live off the dividends. There's a company called Realty Income. They own warehouses around the world, like 5,000 of them. They pay a dividend every month. If a person had money in there, you'd get a dividend every month. Am I saying to go out and buy Realty Income? If it's on sale, I am. It just so happens at the time of this recording, it's not on sale. We only want to buy stocks when they're on sale, right? So there's a very specific way, system, strategy, procedure to purchasing stocks that pay a dividend. And of course, over time, many a person has done very well, right? And they can live off of their dividends without ever touching the actual investment. Some people out there are going to be involved in real estate. Somehow real estate has this uh, flair to it. Ooh, real estate like that automatically means you're going to become rich. I'm into real estate. Ooh, we, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> hold on a second here. Okay, but it could also mean that you could get bankrupt very, very quickly. Real estate will bankrupt somebody quicker than anything. The next biggest thing that'll bankrupt people quickly are medical bills. Real estate, real estate is a very, very fine game for people who are experts and it's normally not the chiropractor. The time, effort, and energy to, to learn anything about real estate in a world where people only do real estate, think about that. You think some real estate agent's gonna be part-time chiropractor and be as good as you? Never. So to think you're going to become some sort of real estate guru. Okay, and I own commercial real estate property and I still own residential real estate, right? But you have to be incredibly smart, incredibly savvy and very, very conservative. Most of the time, you won't believe this when I tell you. A chiropractor tells me that they can buy a building. I say this. If they were going to give you the building, I would still tell you not to do it. Yeah, but Tori, the, the building would be... Really? What does it cost to get it prepared to practice in? What does it cost to live in and work in and operate every single month? What is it going to need in the future for what cost? Like the $15,000 furnace that a crane's going to have to put on top of the building. Or the new asphalt you're going to have to put down in the parking lot. Or whatever else. People have to look at all of the costs... It could be good, it could be bad. But there are chiropractors that very slowly over time have built up properties. Many times working as a couple is what does this because you gotta say, say I marry a real estate agent wife, okay? And I make money and she is the one that's able to help engineer acquiring some rental properties as a real estate. We could be a heck of a team. And if I know all the contractors and the people to do all the work, I can get everything done I need to get done after things purchased. And I hire a management company to do the management, we might be somewhere. All right? If you can have enough down and if you can get the thing in the positive. So there are chiropractors that have got real estate that generates income because they got the properties paid for so they're able to collect the rent and live on it. Of course, you could be involved and be an investor in businesses that generate income. And of course, in the modern world now, a person could have crypto strategies that generate income enough that they'll pay your bills. My crypto strategies, which are quite smart, generate enough to cover all my expenses. 
every month just from my crypto investment strategies alone. Terry, how do you do that? It would take a long time to explain and you would have to pay a lot because I've spent a lot of money and I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours studying to understand. I have lived through the crypto apocalypse. And so I have a few things figured out in that arena. So as I sit here, yes, I've got bonds. I've got the big life insurance policy. I've got the dividend stocks, rental house. I've got, of course, my business and I have crypto. There's lots of other choices. This isn't exhaustive. I'm just going over a few big things. I don't know what's the best for you. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you have for money. I don't know what you're going to do as far as uh, years to work. I don't know what your situation. That takes a two-hour money Zoom to sit down and lay out all the details and go over it together. I'd love to do that with you. I'd love for all of you listening to this to be Winner's Edge members. All of you to be healthy and to be happy, do well financially, serve, have incredible practice. But somehow it's very hard to get a chiropractor to spend $1,000 to learn how to collect $50,000. Somehow that doesn't ring with people. Some, somehow people that doesn't somehow that doesn't make sense with certain people you know they'd rather spend nothing and not really grow versus spend thousands and learn how to collect millions more over the course of a career i just call that a mystery i hope you're one of the people that realizes you have to pay to learn those who are willing to pay to learn and get the information now leave everybody else behind that's what i'm encouraging all of you should be winners edge members love to meet you train with you, grow, see you do things that you thought you never thought you would do. Every week, my emails, Tori, I never thought this was possible a couple years ago. When I was an associate, I never thought I could do this. Wow, these numbers are bigger than I ever thought would happen for me. Okay, Before, this would have blown me away. Now I can do it in a day, on and on and on. In fact, if you're watching on a video here, here's what I have to do. See back there, right here? That bucket is full. Those are all thank you cards, okay? Look at this, just tons of them, tons, you know? I mean, just tons. Every week, every day of my life, okay? People don't go out of their way to mail stuff to me because their practice or their financial life went down. <laughs> we want yours to go up. So we have retirement options here. Now follow me here. Down the road also, you might have some Social Security. We don't, we don't count on that. But as of the time of this recording, could be over 3000 bucks if you've maxed out your contribution. Now let's look at the practice. Your practice is the money-making machine. As a result of service, always keep that in mind, you could just flat out sell the practice. Take the money, put it into your investments, live off that, see how long that lasts you. By the way, what's wealth? Wealth is how long you can live without any more income. That's how wealthy you are. Oh, he's a wealthy guy. What does that mean? Well, really wealthy to some people means you can live the rest of your life on your own resources without any work. If you quit working and you had zero working income, how long can you make it on what you have? You look at what you got saved up. You look at what you could sell. How long could you live if your income, household income, not, well, you know, my wife does this, we'd be okay. No. How long can you go? The goal is to be able to go the rest of your life, way beyond that, so you can be more generous. Down the road, if you're not quite financially able to flat out sell the practice, remember now, you're going to need a lot of money every month. And let's say you live 20 more years. You know how much it costs to live 20 years, especially if you don't have a job? Be one of the few who can think ahead. You could go and um, back off your schedule, work 8, 10, 12 hours a week, still generate income. Remember now, 
getting paid four thousand a month makes up for not having a million dollars saved, because a million gets you around four thousand a month clear after tax. And if you don't have the million, you can still work a little bit, see if you can't take home four thousand bucks a month, and then eventually sell the practice. Some people might even still own the practice and not work in it at all. Just be a manager, be on a Zoom for the team meeting, oversee the thing, see if you can have an associate chiropractor or two in there, do okay, cover the expenses and allow you to get paid a little bit. Remember now, an associate chiropractor normally can never do what the chiropractor owner can do. So getting the place profitable is a little bit of a trick in associate land, but it can be done, especially if you hang with us and you have the systems and the procedures and all of the things in place that allow a chiropractor associate to excel. Many associates in the group are doing a fantastic job building a great life. In fact, I've seen many of associates in the Winner's Edge group way, way, way ahead financially compared to many doctors who own their practice. So you have options with the practice itself. I want you to be excited. Because remember now, you've got phases to your life. There's what you're doing right now. All the way to the point where you might back off on your schedule. Four half days, then maybe two half days. If you don't just flat out sell outright. Then there's a the point where you're actually going to exit the profession. There's that point all the way until your last breath. And we got to make sure that during that time, you really, really, really are excited, you're healthy, and you're happy. And then, of course, there's what happens in your eternal future. All right? So we have now, down as you get closer to court retiring, exit the profession, the retirement years, and then, of course, what you do into eternity. And I want to see you be successful. There's four phases. And I want to see you win it all four. Look at the name of our whole thing here. True Cairo Success. True Cairo Success audio sets. True Cairo Success seminars. True, chi true legit success as a chiropractic professional. Now into eternity future. That's true success. Making a bunch of money but not having anything saved and struggling in retirement. To that's not true success. Making a bunch of money, having saved, having a great life, but not thinking about your eternal future and just thinking I, when I die, everything will just work out for me, okay, without having an awareness of, of your mortality. I'm going to die someday, and you are too. And let's just say, for example, there's a supreme creator being God, and he says, Tori, I got this cool place called heaven here. Why would I let you in? Uh, because I didn't kill anybody. Yeah, but you still broke some of my laws. God cannot be reasoned with. It, they are his rules, not your rules. The arrogance of humanity is, is astonishing. I am a God-fearing man. I know my place, and my place is this. I am nothing. And God is everything. My best efforts are a ridiculous joke in the eyes of a perfect and holy God. So I work to understand what God's rules are as it relates to eternity future. Give myself the best chance of success there. I encourage you on that. I'd be happy to visit with you about that. There aren't multiple ways to the top. That's just one of the many lies that people want to believe to make themselves feel good. I'm not into feeling good. I just want to know the truth. I want accuracy as best as I'm able to understand it and apply it. Millionaire DC Secrets. So what you have here, you have lots of possibilities for how you're going to retire and pay for your life. It is my recommendation that, that many of these, and in some cases, all of these be put into play. But of course, there's debt elimination, houses, marriage, kids, there's all these other expenses that come into play in a person's life. All right, but behind the scenes, the Winner's Edge money flow system intact with the debt elimination taxes, how you get paid, wealth automation into the correct investments over time. I'm telling you, that is why the Winner's Edge chiropractor is 
their richest chiropractor, superior systems, superior angles, superior connections, superior resources, superior motivation, superior planning, superior intent, superior generosity, superior vision for the future, superior understanding of where we are headed and how we want to be successful when we get there. Tori out.